Hey Dave, thanks for sending me a follow-up video of your swim technique underwater. I think it's really important um, to send follow-ups because we want to know if what I suggested, if you're implementing what I suggested and if it's making a difference. So the main thing in your first video was you didn't have much power behind your pull. You could see, especially swimming into the camera, that you didn't have really any elbow bend, which was telling me you didn't really have much of a, a high elbow catch fall, or preceding your push, which make up the pull. So my suggestions were to do some underwater doggy paddle drill, some catch up drill, and something I should have told you to do is some one arm only drill. So let's move on to um, the second video for comparison. So in the second video, again, you're swimming into the wall. I do see a little bit more elbow bend. Um, I think you could get a little bit more, but something I'm also noticing, and I think you made a comment about it, is your kick is a little bit off. I think it's throwing your balance off. It's throwing your rotation off for sure. There's a little bit of a scissor kick when you breathe. But I do like how you're scraping your thigh um, with your thumb with every arm pull. That's a big deal, and that's something that a lot of people don't do. And I like how you are still pulling a little bit more center because you do have a little bit more elbow bend. What I'd like to see next is you with some paddles on. Because sometimes when you have that hand paddle on, it provides that resistance and it kind of automatically corrects, um, self-corrects that catch and that pull. So that would be the next thing to do is film yourself with hand paddles. Also, it would actually really help is to film yourself doing the two drills I suggested, the catch-up drill and the head out of the water drill, as well as the one I want to add, the one arm only, one arm at your side, breathe to the side that's not stroking. That would be really cool to see you doing those just to make sure you're doing them right. So um, that's it for now, and hopefully it makes sense to you, and make it a great day. Okay, now that you've worked on your breathing body, right body balance and rotation, it's time to work on the swimming elbow biceps, elbow stroking. The first phase we're going to talk about is and you want to high elbow breathe with your elbow. What that means is the other one is called finger drag, and I'll take drag, wrist drag. So those are the two main things you're dragging. Recovery drills. The reason recovery is so important is and if how you're on, so you're really a lot of recovery phase, whether it's wide or too narrow, like the ceiling of the pool.